First tonight, North Attleboro residents have been advised to boil their water after water samples tested positive for enterococci bacteria this morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Heggie and I'm Kayla Fish. The town is now urging people to take precautions. 12 News reporter Valerie Moravi joins us now with the latest. Valerie. Yeah, I'm currently outside stop and shop and we actually saw people coming out with carts full of bottled water and some of them even said they saw the shelves almost completely wiped out. Frustration in North Ottoboro after a new water advisory. So I think the town is frustrated that we're already getting water either from bottles or filters or the water treatment um, facility. And so now that we can't use the water at all, um, I think people are just they're frustrated. The advisory comes after all of the four wells tested positive for enterococci bacteria, a bacteria found in human and animal intestines. Director of the Department of Public Works, Mark Hollowell, says this is an odd discovery. We had a discussion with the DEP. We initially felt that it was probably a lab error. They directed us to resample uh, all of our wells and take them to a different lab. Holloway says this bacteria is not capable of causing serious harm to humans. It's really just an indicator. It actually doesn't cause a lot of harm to humans generally. It's also what causes beaches to close. But he says taking precaution prior to consumption is critical and residents are not thinking twice. As you see bottled water here and then we're also boiling water at home. I'm really just trying to stay informed and make sure that um, myself and my family don't get sick. Holloway suggests people to boil the water used for cooking, drinking, brushing teeth, and even washing dishes. The same precautions apply to pets. Well, so for the one day, we encourage people to boil their water or use bottled water. The town will distribute free, safe water from the Department of Public Works water kiosk at 49 Widern Street. Now, Holloway said another test has been conducted on the water early Friday and they will provide an update once it's completed. In North Ottoboro, I'm Valerie Moravi, 12 News.